Shinobi or Gaiden? Sega or Nintendo? Hayabusa or Musashi? These questions have raced through the minds of many a gamer who has tackled both the Shinobi and Ninja Gaiden series, either game playing an important part in the history of side-scrolling, shuriken-throwing console adventures. Needless to say, it's been fun exploring either side of the debate, and the tension continued to stay red hot when Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master was released in 1993 by Sega. It's not much of a change from the second one, save for smoother gameplay and more attention to how fast the game moves, as opposed to the difficulty of knocking out armed soldiers. Continue with Joe Musashi as you take a kunai to a gunfight against the Neo Zed crime syndicate, armed with throwing knives, katana, and overall martial arts skill. Seven levels total up the length of this game, each with a different layout, starting in more natural surroundings and eventually leading you to enemy bases, and even a strange facility where monsters are being created. Anyone else having flashbacks of Mount Nibble Reactor? This elevator level requires quick thinking and reflexes to dodge the scumbag soldiers creeping through and shooting at you. You're a ninja though, so this shouldn't be too hard, right? Well just wait until you have to bounce off a wall and curl around it at the same time. Hard mode. Not every level involves being on foot. You'll be on horseback in a stage that might remind you of Sunset Riders, as an enemy ninja squad jumps out of a kite and hustles towards you. Then the mini-boss appears, jumping through the air and dropping spears on you. Each boss has a technique that might be intimidating at first, but once you get into a certain rhythm, you'll usually be able to take them out easily. Sometimes it's hard to find the higher ground on the recent string of Shinobi games released. It's hard to forget the first time you laid your hands on this game and the first run you took through it where you were just on fire, leaving your enemies in a cloud of bloody dust. When it comes to the soundtrack, however, I put more money on the old school Ninja Gaiden tunes that are fast paced, adding to the excitement of it all. Shinobi 3's tunes are okay, I guess, but they ring of Sonic 2 more than anything else to me. Nevertheless, Shinobi 3 offers quality sound in the realm of katana swishes, clinking kunai knives, and staccato kiops. As a gamer, who couldn't love ninjas? Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master is a fantastic addition to your old school collection, but if you can't find it in stores, Leave it to Steam and the Sega Genesis Classic Collection to satisfy your taste for blood and steel.